do a lot of things, man. I did this show in, out in Texas. And you ever been to Walmart at one o'clock in the morning? I got some film footage they should have of me right now. As I was walking down an aisle and there was nobody in the aisle. I get halfway, you ever run into a wall of fart? You just walking. Oh, Jesus, what the? And then you're looking around like somebody's gonna be standing there like, yeah, that, that was me, dude, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking I still need an item. Can I hold my breath long enough and grab that item and still get to the other side? But if I inhale some, I'm gonna be pissed. So I decided I'm just gonna turn around and leave. As I'm turning around to leave, there's a lady coming down the aisle. I'm like, dang, she gonna think I did this. So I grabbed my cart, pushed it in front of her. Hopefully it would block her for long enough where this would disperse. But she's looking at me like, Negro, if you don't move, I'm gonna call the security on you. So I heard him grab my cart like, okay, I'm sorry, it's the burrito. I just got the aisle. Cause see, if you want thing, one thing about Walmart, you ever look on that wall that says over 7,000 children have been found, but none of them kids have ever been missing outside in the parking lot. I'm like, if you go far enough in the back of Walmart, in that, wa that back room, you'll see little Jimmy on the sewing machine. You making that sweater that looked like it came from Ross, one sleeve longer than the other? <laughs> See, nobody wants to tell the truth, you know, because every time a kid's missing in Walmart, prices keep falling. Ding, ding, ding. And then that requires an Amber Alert. And basically that lets the Mexicans and the blacks know that Walmart's having a sale. <laughs> Some of y'all didn't laugh at that, but you're gonna be sitting at home one day and you're gonna be sitting back watching TV. And you're gonna look at your spouse and say, ooh, there's an Amber Alert. You think Walmart's got a sale? 